Okay, let's say my domain data that I want to search is two. So I am looking at the domain of first coordinates on D with the value two. Okay, with the value two, I'm looking at the domain on D yeah? with the value two. So from there, found the data, produce the output by both domain and range together using MapLet notation. Okay, so I am searching the domain, first coordinates, huh? I'm searching the domain first coordinates. Is there any two inside that? If yes, okay, take that record, okay, two and B, uh, in this case two and B, show on the screen. So you will get two maplet to B as your answer. Okay, so this is what we call as domain restriction operator. You are checking or looking or searching for the domain record only. Again, let's say you have only the domain record, but you don't need, you don't really know the whole data, so you want to search the domain record here, so you give the domain record, okay, then you produce the result. Okay, uh? so this is domain uh, restriction, uh? So, you are looking at the first component. Okay, if I say the domain data does not exist at all, okay, you will have empty set as the answer. Okay, yeah? if I say you want to search two records at the same time, you can uh, using the uh, domain description. If you want to search two records at the same time, can by using this domain data, you will have the answer. Okay, and then just now, from form just now, you want to search two records also, then you will have like this. Okay, and then uh, this is another one. You have two domain, two domain, uh. two, two, two domain. Uh. Okay, so your answer will be like this. And then, okay, if, let's say, remember you learn about domain and range, you, you want you already search for domain, but you don't want the domain to appear again. You want only the range data to appear. So you can combine domain restriction, put bracket in front, then you put range, because you are looking at the range data only, then it will show you the range data. Okay? So, and then same thing here, you can do like this. Okay, if you want to do that, like it's up to what you want to produce on the screen what you want to produce as the output data okay so this is domain restriction of course if you have domain you should have range also so this is what we call as range restriction okay so you are checking for domain we call as domain restriction if you are checking from range we call as range restriction so range restriction you are looking at the second coordinate should be on the right side of your table. Okay, the second column, second column. So meaning that the arrowhead will point to the right. Okay, will point to the right. So the arrowhead will be this one. Okay, so remember, don't confuse. Huh? If point to the left, you are looking at the domain data. If point to the right, you are looking at the range data. Okay? So sometimes you don't have domain data, but you have the range data. Let's say you have the extension just now, phone number, but you don't know who are using the phone number. Okay? Huh? So you give the phone number, then you want to know who are the people using that extension, for example. So the phone number is the range data, then you want to know who are actually using the phone number. Okay, yeah. so in terms of that, so you're, because you are looking at the second coordinate, the way to write, the one that you need to search will be on the right side also. Okay, will be on the right side. Huh? So, let's say my, my phone number is here. So, I am looking at the phone number. Who are the people assessing the phone number? So, I am looking at the second coordinates. So, I have to point to the right Okay, so, but the answer will 
will be the same as domain restriction the sum. Either you look at the uh, uh, domain or range, okay, the last answer using domain or restriction will be the same. How to write the answer will be like this. Okay, so same thing, if the data does not exist, empty set will be produced. You can also search by two records, okay, and then you can also search like this, and then also something like this, and if you don't want the, how to say, uh, the, the, the range data to appear, you can, just now you put rent, right, because you are searching the domain, but for dom for range, you put the domain in front. Okay, then your result will be the domain result without the range data inside the Okay, yeah? so that is actually domain and range restriction. Okay. So, another term here, domain empty restriction or domain subtraction. Okay, last time you learned about removing the data by using backslash, eh? remember? By using backslash, you use, uh, by, by, remo by using backslash, you remove the record. Okay, so now you want to remove the record, but you have only the domain data. Let's say it's a pair of record, eh? it's a pair of record, but you have only domain. You don't have the range. How to remove? You cannot remove without two data involved. Okay? So in order for you to do that, you need to use what we call as domain NT restriction or domain subtraction. Okay, domain subtraction or domain NT restriction is actually to remove the record if and only if you have the domain data only. Okay, you have the domain data, you don't have the range data, but you still want to remove the record. Okay, so you can use anti restriction symbol, domain anti restriction symbol. So it's similar like uh, restriction just now, but the only difference is you have a line in between that. Okay, when you see the line inside the arrow, automatically this is anti restriction. Okay, either domain will point to the left, range data will point to the right. But the line will show inside the arrow head there. Okay? So when you see the arrow head here, you are telling other people that you are going to remove the, uh, you found domain with number two, domain number two found, remove this record. Okay? Remove this record from the database. That's why the last answer will be without two already. Okay? So that is what you mean by that. Okay? So this is domain anti-restriction. Okay? Domain anti-restriction. So same thing, if you have domain, you will have range also. We will call this as range anti-restriction. Okay? So range anti-restriction pointing to the right. So removing, so this one means that you are searching, you want to remove record from the range data there. You have the range data, but you don't know the domain, but uh, you want to remove the record. So if you want to remove the record with only domain data, uh, sorry, range data, you have to use range and T restriction. So similar concept as domain and T restriction, Okay, so you just put the domain data here, the record will be removed. Okay, so this is anti restriction, either domain or range. So you'll see that the arrow head there will have a line in between. Okay, so now you have, you should know already, uh, including a relation symbol, you should know already of six uh, maplet, relation, maplet. Uh, domain range restriction and domain range anti restriction. So already six symbols that you should know already up to today's lecture. Okay, yeah? Any question until here? Can press it or you want to take a few minutes break? Huh? Press it, huh? One more after that I'll give you wait, huh? Break. 